very first overland off-road trip that me and my daughter ever took was done using the Badge of Honor app to plan out our route. Quite frankly, just because it was super easy. I did something similar this trip, but with a focus on more of the southern destinations that I didn't quite get to hit the first time around. And of course, pick up a fair amount of badges along the way. This time it was just me and my buddy Zeus. Hannah wasn't able to make it. We hit some regular off-road trails, um, did some pretty challenging stuff. Had a great time there, but mostly it was focused on dispersed camping. A little bit of work mixed in where I had to. But as much as possible, getting out in the wide open expanses, especially places like Big Bend and some places in Arizona that I didn't get to hit the first time around. Quite frankly, I was tired of just seeing these trails on YouTube and I wanted to get out there and experience them for myself as well as see some of the epic views that they had to offer. I hit some well-known trails. I saw some well-known sites, but I also got off in the back country on some trails that people may not even know exist. Had a great time. I wanted to share that adventure with you. So enjoy the ride. Good morning. Today finds us doing Poison Spider. Then we'll see how many trails we get to from then. But uh, just up here at the trailhead right now. We took a, uh, a little detour, went down where Eagles Dare for just a touch, and then uh, found our way back. Oh, now we're in this little canyon section. Looks pretty darn cool. Did I share the view? It's a little tight in a gladiator, ain't gonna lie. I've seen this one on the internet. Let's decide what we're gonna do. I think I'm gonna skip getting my tires wet and then trying to go up slick rock. I've seen it a bunch of times on the internet. Oh, I've never seen anybody do the alternate bypass. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'll show you what it looks like. Go. This is the bypass. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Bad at all.
Here we are, Gold Bar Rim Waterfall. Taking it from the opposite direction, going up this big one. I mean, it'd be a bear going down it, but going up, I wasn't making it without lockers. So this will be the first and only time so far that I've ever used my winch without being in mud. That's how my front license plate got bent up. She ain't making it up. So when you get on a bad angle, if you're going to be there for a while, you want to cut your motor off so it doesn't uh, lose the ability to circulate oil well. And I want to say thank you to whoever put this winch point in because this was a huge help. Had I been more used to a winch, I would have actually known that uh, this is actually wireless. It can go wired or wireless. He thinks I got an automatic. <laughs> I can't just idle up rocks. It's a game of the clutch. And sometimes the clutch wins. And the clutch won again. I met these gentlemen at pretty close to the beginning of the trifecta. We ended up just kind of running informally together. One of the guys had been there a couple times, was great help with lines and stuff like that. Plus he was another gladiator owner. They made this part a whole lot easier, or it would have been me and my buddy trying to figure out how to do this without ever winching up a rock before. Can't beat trail friends. Success, and thanks for the help, guys. Yeah.